Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will continue and we will show you a huge, 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 scary mistake. And I want everybody to be careful when you listen to this. This is honestly scary. Very scary. Uh, like I can say, it's extremely scary. This mistake alone will expose the whole idea of Islam and the whole religion of Islam. I will let you listen to this guy and then I will show you the mistake. And I want Muslims to open their ears carefully and be honest with yourself when I talk. Here we go. The Holy Quran mentioned 25 messengers, my name. For example, Adam, Moses. Z Wait. Adam is a messenger. Remember this because we will talk about it later. Adam is a messenger. Don't forget, Adam is a messenger. You heard him. Jesus, Solomon, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. But according to the tradition of a beloved prophet, there were more than 124,000 messengers sent on the face of the earth. Okay, 124,000. Now that we will go to the Quran to see what this guy is talking about and we will see what is scary and what is wrong. What I want to talk about. This is Surah 29, verse number 27. 29, 27. According to Quran, Allah is saying that He made all the messengers from the seed of Abraham and after him from the seed of Jacob and Isaac. You will see in here, uh, uh, Ishmael, he is not included as he will have messengers from his seeds. This is very important. So, Allah gave Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and ordained among his seeds the brotherhood, the, bro the prophethood. So, only from his seeds. No other prophet will go and will come out of the seeds of Abraham, and which is coming through Isaac and Jacob. You see, Ishmael is not included, which means even if the Muslims consider Ishmael as a prophet, his seed, none of them will be a prophet. And by the way, Muhammad had nothing to do with Ishmael. This is a different story. Because all of us, we knew that Ishmael, you know, he is a son of Abraham, and he is a son of an Egyptian woman. So, not the father is an Arab, and not the mother is an Arab. So, what, what Muhammad have to do with Ishmael? This is false. You know, when you hear somebody saying that, he's making a huge mistake. Even the Christians, when they say that, they make a huge mistake. The Arab have nothing to do with Ishmael. Anyway, so, all the prophets of God will come through who? Through Abraham and through Ishmael. But now this means that all the prophets, they are coming from Abraham, and Abraham is the first prophet of God. But he just said that Adam was a prophet. This is why I ask you to concentrate in what he said when he said Abraham, sorry, Adam was a prophet. Quran says in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 7, وَلِكُلِّ قَوْمٍ had, And to every nation we have sent a warner. Every nation, remember. My name, the Holy Quran, mm -hmm. mentioned 25 messengers, my name. Who are they? For example, uh -huh. Adam. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? So Adam is a messenger of Allah. When the Quran is saying that from Abraham and his seed will be the messengers, not from Adam and his seeds. This is mean that the Muslims or the Quran when he claimed that Adam was a prophet, this is contradiction with this verse because Adam is not from the seeds of Abraham, it's the opposite. In the same time, you know, Adam he was a prophet for who? For who? For his wife? Come on! So, to make it short, in here there is something huge and wrong. Adam is not from Abraham, and Abraham is from Adam, not the opposite, and the Muslims consider Adam as a prophet. This is number one mistake, but now the biggest surprise is the following. He will say in his video that there is 124,000 prophet. 124,000 prophet. For example, Adam, Moses, Jesus, Solomon, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. 
But according to the tradition of a beloved prophet, there were more than 124,000 messengers sent on the face of the earth. Okay, 124,000 messenger. And now if we go back to the verse we are reading from, which it says that Allah will make all the prophets from the seeds of Abraham. Here we go, guys. This is the biggest surprise. If all the prophets, they are from the seed of Abraham. And we will show you another verse from the Quran saying that the prophet, they will be from those people. Those prophets who Allah will send, they will be from the nations, from those nations. And not only that, they speak their languages. Let me show you that. Because I want to put a formation together. As you see in here, Surah chapter 14, verse number 4. We send not a messenger, expect, expect to teach in the language of his own people. So in here we will learn two things. Those prophets, they will speak the language of their own people, which means they are from those people, and they are speaking that language. They are from those people and they speak the language. You know, it's normal Like because if, if I am an Arab, I will speak Arabic. If I am a Chinese, I will speak Chinese. So in here, we will learn something very important, extremely. They are messengers from those people. They are not from different nation. And they are messengers from those people and they speak the language of those people. So they are from them and they speak their language. But we just saw a verse saying that all the prophets, they are going to come from the seeds of Abraham. Does that mean the Chinese, they are from the seeds of Abraham? And the Japanese, and the Korean, and the Russian, and the, the Indian, what is that talking about? This is crazy, this is impossible. This is alone is a proof that Quran cannot be from God. Read with me again, please, and concentrate. From every nation, a messenger who will teach to his people from his, the, the, the language of his own nation, not other nation. So they are from this nation and they speak the language. And the other surah, we will go and see it. So if we compare this one with this one, from all the messengers of Abraham, or sorry, of Allah, will be, will, will be, will, will be, will be coming, all of them, they are going to come from Abraham. And we made from his seeds all the prophethood. It's a must. No outsiders. When we just showed you in the other video, if you remember, that Alexander the Great is a prophet of Allah. Alexander the Great is from Abraham. Adam is from Abraham. Somebody will claim that's Muhammad from Abraham, but he's not, because Muhammad is not from Ishmael. Ishmael is a son of an Egyptian woman. Egyptian are not an Arab. They are not even Asian. A Abraham is not an Arab. Abraham speaks Aramaic. He lives in Iraq. So, regardless of Muhammad's story, this is a proof that those prophets have to speak the language of that nation and they have to be with, from that nation. And he just said 124,000, and the Quran said that to every nation Allah he sent. No exception, no, no exception, all nations Allah he sent them a prophet. As you see in here, Allah he sent in every nation a messenger. So, in every nation, for assuredly we send among every people a messenger. In Arabic it's nation as we said. So, every nation, that a prophet, he speaks the language of that nation, and he is from that nation, and the Quran said that all the prophets, they are coming from the seed of Abraham, then we will ask ourselves, this is cannot be true, because all the nations are not from Abraham. The Chinese is not from Abraham. The Japanese not from Abraham, the Korean not from Abraham, the Indian not from Abraham, the American not from Abraham, the European not from Abraham. So what this guy is talking about? This is a very clear evidence that the Quran is a false book. Follow with me more in the video and I hope you are enjoying it. Jesus is Lord, Islam is false, I mean.